So this is Saturday the 17th of June and uh, I'm in Benissa and I'm in the centre of the town and uh, I'm right next to the fountain which at the moment is not working um, but normally it is, it's very nice, it's off that nice sound that you get so you can sit and relax, there's lots of seating around here and if you're into ice cream then there's a place just there which you can see and uh, I can't pronounce the name, I've got no idea, Jidienka or something like that, but uh, it's a, quite a famous ice cream place around here. So when you're sat here, you grab yourself an ice cream and uh, sit here under the, the shade of the trees and enjoy it. So what could be better than that? I think it'd be fantastic. In the center of the town on Saturdays, there is a market. Um, which is quite a big one worth coming to have a look at here in front of me is car parking um, it's not particularly easy to park in the middle of Benissa um, I'm on my motorbike today which makes it very very easy but uh, if you're in a car it's uh, it's not so easy but uh, well worth trying to park well worth coming here because it's such a pretty place and most people miss it because they're on the 332 and they go straight past so it's uh, certainly worth uh, the effort to come in here and have a look around all the old beautiful streets all the old buildings so you know i would uh, highly recommend it i think it's a great place one of my favorite places i must admit i prefer the smaller towns like this like gandia i really like gandia as most of you know who follow the channel and um it's certainly, you know, the smaller place to suit me because I live in a small village as well, so. So I've come off the main square now and coming up one of the side streets and this is the market and uh, this is the first store I've come to. Lots of sombreros and hats. So there are lots of things here for you to see and uh, obviously to spend your money on as well. Got bedding here. It's like all markets in Spain, you have everything that you need really from clothing to bedding to jewelry just watches and belts and paintings you name it they have it and uh 
this is no exception this is just like the rest of them but it goes quite a long way up this street so there's plenty to see it's very early on a saturday morning it's only just after 10 and uh as i say there's plenty to plenty to see and you've got all the other shops as well of course there's plenty of shops up these little streets very nice they've got all the decorations up in the street as you can see all along here because at the end of this month the end of june they've got moors and christians and uh, that's certainly worth coming to view i always like it anyway i mean i suppose you know if you look at it every year it's very much sort of same as same as but for me i, I still think it's a good tradition and that's uh, going back to the sort of 13th the 15th century and uh, as i say that's at the the end of june if you're interested in coming but uh, as I say, they've got lots of decks, lots of decorations up at the moment. They've got all these uh, bottles hanging up in the air. They're all kinds of different bottles uh, with faces on them, which <laughs> is a bit different. But they go from the beginning of the street, as you can see, right to the other end. So part of the decor for the festivals coming up.